Tonight, I'm going to be painting in the darkness of night. But this is no ordinary piece of art. I'm going to be using light as paint, the air as a canvas, and an ice skater as a brush. Light painting is a photographic technique which uses a source of light to draw an image in the air whilst taking a long exposure photograph. In this beginner's guide, we'll show you what you need to do to create your own light paintings. First of all, you need a DSLR camera which has access to manual settings. You need a tripod to keep your camera steady. And you need a source of light, whether it's a torch, LEDs, or even the light on your smartphone camera. So our setting needs to be nice and dark. We only want to capture the light from our torches, so try to avoid any light pollution. Now it's time to set up the camera. Now this can have a lot of trial and errors, but it's the experimentation that makes light painting so much fun. So we're gonna give you a starting point, then it's up to you to fine tune it to get the results you want. Switch your camera to manual mode. This will allow you to adjust the settings that you need. Setting your white balance to daylight is a good starting point. You want to avoid using auto. To avoid accidentally shaking the camera, it's a good idea to set the timer delay to give you a couple of seconds to move your hands away after pressing the shutter. Now we need to choose our three main settings, ISO, aperture and shutter speed. The ISO determines how sensitive our camera is to light. So the higher the ISO, the more sensitive it is. We need a low ISO for light painting, about one or 200. The aperture or f-stop controls the opening of the lens. Set yours to about f8 or f10. This will allow in plenty of light whilst keeping your image nice and focused. Finally, the shutter speed controls how many seconds the shutter is open for. Let's start with about four seconds. Now we're gonna press the shutter, get into position and paint with light. Not bad, kind of does look like a conical flask. So why don't you try and experiment with all these different settings? If it's too bright, try shortening the shutter speed. If it's too dark, try widening the aperture. In the 1940s, Albanian photographer John Milley attached small lights to the boots of ice skaters, and he captured some of the most famous light painting images ever created. When Milley showed these images to Pablo Picasso in 1949, he was immediately inspired. Grabbing a pen light, Picasso began drawing in the air as Millie captured these images on his camera. So we're gonna see if we can recreate Millie's famous artwork. So we've come here to the At Bristol ice rink with LEDs, plenty of tape, and an ice skater. This is Lily. We've attached LEDs to Lily's hands and feet. So I wonder what patterns our ice skater can make in motion. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it around and click on Lily to subscribe. To learn how to photograph the stars, check out our beginner's guide to astrophotography. And if we've inspired you to try light painting at home, send us your photos on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. I've got an overly smiley mouth now.